Thanks to Mars, and here we have the old lot of Africa theory again. In China, they found a bunch of tools, and I say that in quotes, uh, and they're claiming that these are some of the oldest tools ever found outside of Africa. Really, what have you found in Africa? Duh. So I googled stone tools Africa, as you can see. And it keeps linking back to the story. Which means they're, what they're doing is they're saying, well, we found these stone tools, and the makers came, stone tool makers came from Africa. I don't see one, one link here that talks about tools, stone tools, and Africa itself. Now, picture this. They claim that they came from Africa, but they have no evidence that the tools actually existed in Africa as well. They're the oldest stone tools outside of Africa. I guess Africa, they don't have to show that anybody made any tools there. They can just say, ah, oh, we said it, so it's true. That's, uh, Stanton Friedman calls that science by proclamation. So getting back to the story, two workers lived in Shang Shen on and off for 800,000 years, between 2.1 and 1.3 million years ago, leaving behind school tools that are unprecedented outside of Africa. So, let's take a look at this link. Well, well, here we have an article from Nature. Well, listen to this. This is getting... This is going from beyond... Even beyond fantasy, as far as I'm concerned. Human evolutionary scholars have long supposed that the earliest stone tools were made by the genus Homo, and technological development was linked to climate change and the spread of Savannah grasslands. Now, I thought that the United States was responsible for global warming. But here we have the ideology which shows you that this is ideology, not science. It's called the mental disorder of liberalism. New field work in West Turkana, Kenya has identified evidence of much earlier hominin technological behavior. We report the discovery of Lumki, Lomekwi, whatever, 3.3 million old archaeological site where in situ stone artifacts occur in spatial temporal, spatial temporal, I swear. Associations with Pleocene hominin fossils in a wooded pale environment. So they're claiming some kind of time time travel. That's where the spatial temporal association. We're talking about time travel. These people have gone beyond fantasy. They're, they've lost it. So we're going to Google the site. Well, uh, here you are, here's an article, I googled that, uh, name, and once again, it's linked to, they're blaming some monkey or something for global warming. I, I can't deal, I'm sorry. These people are more, they're dealing with fantasy. And getting back to this article... Uh, I'm going to explain something to you scientists. Let's take a look at the world map here. 
Okay, you scientists. Uh... Here's Africa, right? Here's China, right? They're two completely different places. You tell me some monkey or something moved all the way from here to here and... I can't deal, I'm sorry. Uh, like I said, the one article talks about, temp mentions temporal spatial coordinates. That's talking about time travel. They're nuts. I, I can't deal, I'm sorry. No, we did not come from Africa. I am not related to some monkey that lives in Africa. And I resent the very implication that I am. I think somebody intervened. Maybe a uh, certain planet in our past? I don't know. Hmm, to a certain civilization and the fourth planet in the solar system had something to do with our development? Possibly. I wouldn't rule it out. I have artifacts of Mars. I'm depressed that these idiots keep telling me that I'm some monkey from Africa or something. It just angers me. Thanks for watching.